Hey, it's jerkbait season's upon us. The water temperatures are creeping up in the 50s. Uh, we got some places colder, some places warmer, and it's a great time to throw a jerk bait. I just want to share with you some stuff that might help you catch some fish and on cloudy days and, and as opposed to sunny days. And on cloudy days, I like something that's painted, like uh, this allergy bone that's got some chartreuse to it, or the sexy shad that are painted. And they're painted, they don't need the sunlight to get the flash to them. It seems like on, on cloudy days, those are good. And on sunny days, I usually like flashy baits, like uh, this wakasaki that gets a lot of sunshine and creates a lot of flash or can cure. The gold can be really good. Can cure can be good. And even when you get real, real clear water up north or even around the house, the clear blue can be good on sunny days. So check that out. On cloudy days, try something painted. Sunny days, try something that's got a lot of flash. It'll put more fish in the boat. Usually the first thing I do when I get these out of the box is replace the hooks. Uh, these hooks are pretty good out of the box, but they, they once you catch some fish on them, they get weak because they start bending, especially if you catch a striper or hybrid and you have to bend it back, they get really brittle. So what I like to do, I'll take some, I'll take an Owner ST36, a four through six, depending on the size of jerk bait, that's the ones I use, and replace that, and those hooks are a lot better. They're a little stiffer, but they're still light wire and penetrate really good. So ch change those out when you get them and try the ST36 owners. Ratio seems to get a lot better for hookups. So we talked about colors. Now are places to catch them on jerk bait. And my favorite place to catch them is on points. And points that extend out into the main channel especially because these are the first places the fish are going to come from deep water, move into, and then go into spawn. So the places I like are points that have some deep water around them. And usually that's the first place they're going to set up. If you can look at your Garmin units, see the points that run out long in the lake and have some shallow water on them. And that's usually where those fish will first move up before they go in the creek. So get you some Garmin units, look for long points, start out on the deep side of the points, you know, vary your cadence. And as the water gets warmer, they're going to move up shallower and get on top of those points. So that's the first place I look for catching jerk bait fish. Talk a little bit about jerkbait setup. I've always liked a shorter rod, uh, like a 6.6 six to 6.10. And I've got long arms, so I never wanted the rod hitting the water. So I use a 6.10. This is a 6.10.47 series by Doomsday. Perfect action, it's a medium action with a fast hit. Perfect for throwing jerk baits. 90% uh, of the time I'm throwing 10 to 12 pound Sunline Sniper. And um, I teamed that up on a Shimano Metanium. This is the first year I've used a Metanium on jerkbait and it throws it a mile. They don't pay me anything, I'm just telling you that because this is what I use. So Metanium. 8 to 1 ratio, fast reel, 10 to 12 pound Sunline Sniper, 610, 47 series Doomsday Rod, perfect rod throwing a jerk bait. And again, I really like the Megabass jerk baits. They're good all year round.